Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Cannon. Today we're doing an unboxing slash sped up assembly of Halo Fleet Battles. I have not opened this, I've only cut the seams, so this is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to any of you who do not have this yet. So, got my box, got my fleet commanders, got my modeling kit, got Master Chief to keep me, bit, uh, keep me company. Let's take a look. Got some very lovely, uh, I guess you could say, um, oh, what is it, like uh, pseudo terrain, I'm trying to think, uh, just uh, stuff to kind of spruce things up. So various debris fields, planets, in this case we got Reach, Planetoid, I'm not sure if that's based on anything from Halo or not, I hope you guys can see that, um, but yeah. Objectives, wreckage, space station, asteroids, different type of planetoid, gaseous cloud. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. So anyway, put that off to the side and see what else. Vacuum restricts me. Okay, so some dice, some more dice. It's the Covenant dice. You can see each side has a set of dice. I don't know what for yet. Like I said, this is my first time unboxing it, so I haven't read any everything or anything actually. Um, but you want to see in Covenant. Other dice for other stuff. I don't know what yet. I gotta stop saying that because I. Anyway. For a moment. So now we got a bunch of books. Fall of Reach campaign guide. This should have a lot of the, uh, you know, setting up scenarios, but also some of the more, uh, some of the lore stuff. Which I can't wait to get into. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, this is an advertisement for another type, for another thing they do. Got some tokens here. Ah, assembly instructions. I'm a man. I don't need that. Actually, I do probably. <laughs> I could probably figure it out, but it's always good to have instructions. Uh, reference sheet. Those are always handy. Ah, fleet cards. Or at least that's what I assume they're. Call I'm calling them a fleet cards, but all your basic information for uh, your various ship types, what what ship does. <laughs> Pun. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like more t more icon or uh, token or I don't know what tokens, icons, targets. I, I don't know. Oh wait, I, I do know what this is. This is uh, these are the decals for the base for the bases. Okay, awesome. Oh, I did not know about these. They're pro it's probably out there. Well, actually, I kind of did. I, what am I saying? So, Captain Cards. Beautiful, beautiful art on the front. And then, some stuff on the back. I'm not sure for what. Obvi again, I've not read it. I, I gotta stop saying that, you know? I would re-record it, but I already got everything going, and I want this to be authentic. Uh, okay, we got some Spartan... Some various vehicle icons... Um, I have heard about boarding actions, so I'm guessing that's what some of this is for. Uh, okay, and uh, last but not least, the core rule book. So this will be the important one to really understand everything. So I'll have to... This will explain what everything is later on, of course, but... Uh, yeah. So it'll be interesting to go through all this and see what's there. Yeah. I can't get enamored right now. I gotta do this video. Okay. So, box. Box within a box. Number two. Okay. I'm sure we all know what this stuff is gonna be. So, here we go. Our sprue kits. So, we got the Epoch class. Um, I honestly can't remember right now if I should be saying cruiser or carrier, because I am stupid.
Epoch Heavy Carrier. Forgive me. Of course it's a carrier. What the hell am I saying? I just got corrected about, about the other one. A few uh, frigates, which do, apparently do not require any assembly, which makes perfect sense. Uh, some Marathon class cruisers here. They're assembly for them. And then the remaining Marathon class and uh, frigates. Ah, uh, here we go. The brand new ORS Heavy Carrier. I'm just going to double check. Damn it. Heavy Cruiser. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, so this is mostly for the cruiser. We got, uh... Jesus, my mind today. Uh, the SDV class Heavy Corvettes. Just a few of them. So pretty much everything on the Covenant requires as some assembly. Which makes, again, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, some more those and the CCS class battle cruisers. And last but not least from this box, the bases and stands. So, nothing special. Uh, from what I can gather, obviously I'm not 100% on this, but you know, these guys go on top of the plastic base here, and then you got the clear plastic stands to make it look like they're flying. Yada yada yada. <laughs> well, you guys... I don't care, whatever. So, start with, uh, let's, uh, now that that's all done, let's start assembling. Alright, so here we are with the assembled Epoch class cruiser and the assembled ORS class heavy carrier. Oh, really? Really? I got that wrong again? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Here we are with the assembled Epoch class carrier and the ORS heavy cruiser. Along with the captains of the fleet, even though funny enough these are not the flagships, I just wanted to assemble the big ships first. Interestingly I noticed um, there are a few options when assembling your fleets, like this is for the this is a card for the ORS class, but only the ORS. The current card I have set up includes a spot for a um goddamn for an SDV heavy Corvette, so I'm and this one includes one for the Paris class cruiser or Paris class frigate. Wow, my uh... <sighs> hmm. So I'm going with the support one to start out, and we'll see how that works out. Because obviously I'm not too familiar with the rules, but I figure um, it's always good to have some support for your uh, your heavy hitters. Anyway, though, uh, so. Those are the first few ships to assemble. Now I'm going to focus on the UNSC, and once I get that fleet assembled, we'll swing back over to uh, the Covenant. So, let's go and put Mr. Mr. Barutami up here along with the LRS, and stand forth off to the side. So here we go. We got the entire battle group Leviathan all assembled at these as I, uh, so I'm doing my initial setup. I haven't read through the rules, so you know, fleets, they might have a preset, preset, uh, fleet layouts for the various scenarios that, ha that go down, depending on what you do, you know, so. Um, but that, this is the way I would set up for now. Um, all my ships are, have a frigate as support, which, funny enough, leaves me with one frigate that cannot go be playing because I only, there's a, just because of the nature of the beast basically. But yeah, so, beautiful Epoch, Epoch, cl Epoch class, heavy carrier, finally got that right. <laughs> um, right there with its support pa Paris class, uh, Paris class frigate, Marathon class heavy cruisers, I think that's right. Yep, got that right. <laughs> Each with a supporting uh, um, Paris class frigate, and there's actually two ver two ways to lay out the the cr the frigate. Um, God, what would you call this? Formations, I guess. Uh, yeah, formation. I've got I got that right. So you got the trident formation, and this one is called the arrowhead formation. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the advantages and disadvantages of each one are just yet. Again, I have not read the rules yet. 
Um, I've done a little bit, kind of browsed through some of the fiction and scenarios so far, but nothing too in depth just yet. But you know, there's my first setup. So now that that's done, push it all aside metaphorically and. Get the Covenant fleet assembled. I'm gonna take a look at that. Take a look at the whole fleet. Kind of do a little bit of the setup here uh, when we get to that. And uh, yeah. So here we go. We got the fleet of Valiant Prudence led by Ro Barutami. Uh, just like with the uh, with Battle Group Leviathan, I uh, have all my my larger ships with a support ship, uh, a support STV. Uh, <laughs> God, you guys are gonna hate me for keep for constantly looking this up. STV Heavy Corvette. Um, yeah. So yeah, nice, wonderful looking, brand new. <laughs> still love it. ORS class uh, heavy cruiser. I love the design. It is a very nice mix of. Uh, you know, the Assault Carrier and the CCS Class Battle Cruiser, or uh, I think it's the RDS Class. Uh, I can't remember the rest of it. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it looks like a lot like this guy, a lot like the Battle Cruiser. It's in, uh, it was uh, first introduced in Halo 4. It's the type of ship that Infinity crashes through. But anyway, I digress. So, there we go. <laughs> the fleet is assembled. Um, like before, because I got the support craft, I have one left. I have one. Uh, oh, fudge me! It's it's late. It's actually early, but one STV left over. But anyway, so th this is just initial setup. Again, two uh, two ways to set up your Corvettes. Uh, the line formation just side by side. The literal name there. And the oblique formation angled like that. I don't again don't know what it means yet. Uh, still gotta still gotta read through uh, Mr. Rulebook here. But anyway, so now that we have both fleets assembled and of course our busts, let's set them up. Get them going, uh, fleet v fleet. Okay, just a little off-center, I know, but bear with me. So, again, Battle Group Leviathan, uh, Fleet of Valiant Prudence, Ad uh, <laughs> Vice Admiral Hieronymus Harold Michael Stanforth, Ship Ma or Supreme Commander, <laughs> not Shipmaster, Supreme Commander Ro Barutami. This is a great... Just from what I'm seeing here, obviously, I have again, I haven't read everything. I haven't gotten into the uh, depths of the gameplay just yet. But the setup here is just brilliant. Uh, <laughs> I love the new ship designs. I love seeing the old ship designs. I love seeing everything to scale. The busts are a nice bonus, but, you know, not everyone's going to have that. So, you know, taking them sort of out of the picture. This is just a beautiful setup. It very nicely the the ship designs is even the new ones fit wonderfully with the cannon the fact that the UNSC has a shit ton more just uh it very nicely reflects you know the act the actual circumstances of the human covenant war you know the covenant technology was always superior if humanity needed wanted to win numbers was where they had to go you know is, is the only way to accomplish that and I mean, there's there's other small subtleties that are just amazing, like you know, par the uh, the Paris class the Paris class frigates here do not have uh, hangar bays, which gets into some of the other rules. I, I haven't read them; I've kind of skimmed them at this point. But you know, so uh, they don't have hangar bays. It's actually I think it's actually printed on here. Yeah, so they don't actually don't have hangar bays, so they can't launch ships um, like fighters or anything. Well, the SDV class Corvettes do have 
um, a single hangar bay, as I think it is on there. Yeah, and uh, so it's just it's just wonderful. This this is a spectacular setup, uh, a great way to a great start to what I hope to be an ever expanding, and I think it's pretty safe to say an, ex, an ever expanding universe of fleet battles. So. I'm not going to say this is a proper review at this point, this is basically an unboxing and setup, but just with what we have to start with, this has definitely been worth the 80, pound, 80 British pounds or um, 100 and, you know, with rough, rough, rough uh, conversion rates, about 125 US dollars. So. I would recommend this at this point. I still got to do some actual play testing, you know, and all that. But from what I've seen right now, this is worth it. This has definitely been worth it. Even if the game sucks, which I doubt it's going to suck. Oh god, just these as miniatures are spectacular. I am just too enamored. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Halo Fleet Battles. Um, in the coming weeks I'm going to familiarize myself with the rules, uh, get a buddy together get with, together with uh, one of my friends and we're going to do some, uh, we're going to run through some of the scenarios. Um, <clears throat> basically run through some of the uh, campaigns or this, I guess it's a campaign guide, but run through some of the scenarios that are detailed in uh, in the rule, well, uh, in the campaign guide. <sighs> All the place of words today. So, you know, familiarize myself with the rules, and then get together and do some of these uh, these uh, scenarios. Um, and of course, uh, as I familiarize myself with some of this stuff, you, I'll uh, be reporting on the canon. How, uh, or I'll be reporting on the new canon and. Uh, you know how that ref how that affects um, existing Ken. <laughs> so yeah, um, I am excited for this. This has been worth the wait, and I cannot wait to actually get to play this. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.